is your T144 or Elite 144 uh, model. It's big. It's awesome. Let me go through uh, all the parts and uh, how, to, how to do the basic setup. I grabbed this from the lid, not the dome. That way we don't crack or break the dome as we're removing the system. Voila! So, parts box. Reservoir. You got your baffle. And you've also got your drain assembly. This is the area where the pump will sit. We'll try to make that so you can identify that spot fairly easily. Humidity dome. The unique feature of the Elite domes, vented domes. Now you can control the humidity levels within your uh, dome and uh, make it conducive to whatever plant you're propagating. And here's our lid. Love this new feature on the lid. You've got an alphanumeric lid, so now you can categorize your plant species based on uh, the rows here. So, oh, R through P, I know that those are such and such plant strain and then you can go forward and keep track of all your different plants that you'll have in the system at one time using this grid method. Again, we've got recesses at each site, so it's much more simple to grab those collars and get them out, as opposed to just fumbling around with the top edge. All right, so how do we get this together? down first, or the reservoir, sorry, and then get into our parts box. We've got our collars, our pump. I would open up the grid on the pump, the face plate here, all the way. This will close off a little bit of that intake. So we'll open it all the way up. I'll leave mine all the way open. I don't want the pump to work any harder than it already is. So open it all the way up. We've got instructions. And this is for the manifold clips. And we'll get into that in a minute. Instructions for the clips. Quick start guide. There you'll find some details about how to take cuttings, uh, general, uh, what your temperature, optimal temperature range should be, and lighting, all those things. You've got your fan power supply along with your fan shroud assembly. These over here. And then the big piece, big item, is manifold. Alright, so what I'll do first. Pump manifold screws right in. It's a bit awkward because the manifold is so big, but that's a good thing because you want proper spray coverage. So here we go. Don't over tighten. You saw that it was pretty much tight right here. I'll go just another bit over, and that will be it. Just snug, not too tight. Put it in that special recess area, designated just for the pump. And then as always, turbo clone systems have our pump core channel on the side of the reservoir. Just like so. So now if you want to push this in here, you'll hear a bit of a snap, which is good. Locks it in place. And there you go. One of the unique features of the turbo clone system is this here, a water fill line that's built into the mold 
of the reservoir. So now you don't have to pre-measure your water. You can just put the water in right to that water fill line and you're good to go. You'll want that to be just, it will, you'll find that it just comes just below the baffle where air from your fan comes into the system. Speaking of, here's my fan shroud. And here are the mounting studs on the back. Line those up with the keyholes, like so. Push in, done. Again, our power supply. Here's where the, uh, the main jack is right there, and this to your outlet. Pretty simple. Let's back. Let me go back to the manifold real quickly and back to these clips. So how does this work? Basically like so. Put it underneath, and then this will go in like that. And now it's going to keep that manifold level. We've started out with two of these clips in the beginning, but uh, many of you commented that you prefer four. So we now give you four. That side's done. Two more. Get the other side. Goes underneath. And you kind of just have to work it in a little bit, like so. Next one, and last one, and done. So I'll put mine just on the outside portion of the handle. So you'll see that right there, right here. So now that's gonna keep your manifold level and won't allow it to, to tilt. All right, next. Got our cord. Now our lid. So again, Turbo Clone uses these special vents on our lid to allow hot air to escape the system. Other systems uh, tend to overheat, and we didn't like that, so that's why we came out with the fan, as well as these vents to allow heat to escape the system. Lastly, our humidity dome. You'll see that there's a label in here. Please remove. Let's do that real quick. That's the inner masking. There's two layers. One on the inside and one on the outside. Sometimes the outside can be a little tricky. So I'm going to use my fingernail. Any sharp edged item like a ruler or knife and get that. And here we go. I've already started it. Peel down. And we'll take that completely off. As suggested by our instructions. How it comes off from the vent, not too, too hard. It's just awkward because it's so big. And there we go. Take the rest of it off. Done. You'll see that the dome has special pads right here that line up with the lid. Make sure that those line up. And there you have it. And that is the basic setup for your T or Elite 144 system with dome. Again, you've got these vents. Now you can control the amount of humidity, whether you want it completely closed off slightly open or all the way open. It's key to control that uh, level of humidity in there. I didn't bother with the collars. With the Elites, you get colored collars. A green and a teal. 
I like to line mine up based on what plant species I'm doing. So I'll have all three or four rows, if it's one plant species, of just green collars. And then the next, however many rows for the next uh, plant species to be the teal. And that way I can visually keep track of different plants that are in my system at one time and uh, know where they're at. We've done away with having to put stickers and use Sharpies with that alphanumeric lid. I just use my spreadsheet on my computer or a notepad and write down, oh, rows N through P are such and such plant species and so forth. And now it's just much more easy for me to keep track of all my plants that are in there at one time. And there is your basic setup. Thanks for watching.